Hi everyone, my name's Julie and I'm one of the ectotherm keepers here at Auckland Zoo. And that means I'm lucky enough to work with our reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates and fish. And so today I have Toa with me and she's one of our female tuatara. So one of the reasons I really like being an ectotherm keeper here at the zoo is I get to work with really interesting New Zealand animals like Toa here. Um, they're fascinating, they are quite technical to look after sometimes and we're always learning new things about them so you can never get bored and they always surprise you. We're lucky enough to have 15 tuatara here at Auckland Zoo so we've got the two female encounter tuatara and we also have three adult tuatara on display in our islands exhibit. The other 10 are juveniles that we have off display that um, are kept up the back of the zoo till they grow a little bit larger. Auckland Zoo was involved in tuatara conservation for many years and that was mainly related to the Head Start program and that's where we worked with the Department of Conservation to breed tuatara here at the zoo and then once they got to a good size they were actually released back to the wild. So tuatara are quite slow breeders, most females will only lay eggs every two to four years and whether or not those eggs hatch out as male or female actually depends on the temperature that they're incubated at. Uh, we call it temperature sex determination, so if it's a little bit warmer we're going to get males and if it's a little bit cooler we're going to get females. So I'll tell you a little bit about the toa here in front of me. So she's 29 years old and she weighs about 450 grams, so close to a block of butter that you might have at home in your fridge. And she's a little bit smaller than an adult male tuatara will be, but this is her fully grown and you can see she's not that big, but the males can weigh up to a kilo. So a lot of people think tuatara are a lizard and that's not actually true. Tuatara are really unique. There's actually nothing left alive on earth at the moment that's closely related to them. They're the only surviving species in the order Rhynchocephalia or you might have also heard the term Sphenodontia. Tuatara are really cool and they are only found in New Zealand which makes them quite special. So some of the interesting things about Toa here is her skin's actually really soft. So a lot of people think they're going to be scaly, like you might think of a snake or a skink, but she's actually got really soft skin and is quite nice to hold. So tuatara means spiny back or ridge back in Māori, and that's from this, this row of spines along their back here. Uh, a lot of people think the spines will be really sharp and spiky, but they're actually really soft and they're just for show. So if the tuatara want to defend their territory or try and look really big and impressive in front of other tuatara, they can clench the muscles around the spines here and raise them up and make them look a lot bigger. Another really cool fact about tuatara is they're actually more active at night, so we do think of them as being nocturnal, so they've got really good night vision. And if you look closely at their eyes, they are amazing looking and it's one of their best features, I think. So sometimes people talk about tuatara having a third eye. Now that doesn't actually mean they have an actual third eye on their head. Instead, when they're born, they have a patch of, sort of translucent skin just on the top here, and it's got photoreceptive cells that are sensitive to sunlight. So here at the zoo, the tuatara get fed a whole different range of insects that we breed on site. And so Toa here gets locusts, crickets, uh, she'll occasionally get galeria, which are wax moth larvae, and any other little insects and um, tasty things we might be able to find for her to eat but probably some of her favourites would be the locusts and the wax moth larvae. Thank you for listening to me talk about the tuatara and hopefully you found it interesting to find out some of the really fascinating things about them and why we like having them here at Auckland Zoo. I hope you guys are all doing well at home and safe in your bubbles and we can't wait to see everyone back here in the zoo in the future.